Did you mean anything to the narcissist? The narcissist is very good at making you feel special. Making you feel as though you are distinguished by some unusual quality or you are superior in some way. You begin to feel as though you are something significant and important to the narcissist. But this is actually nothing more than an illusion. They have given you a deceptive impression and they have planted false ideas and beliefs within your mind. You never meant anything to the narcissist. Because they only saw you as something that was temporary. Something to support them for a limited time. You were just a toy. You were just something for them to play with when they were bored. Which is why they were so excited when they first met you. It was like a kid who just got a new toy. But as time goes by, they get bored of the toy. They don't want to play with it anymore. It no longer interests or excites them. And this is what happens with a narcissist. They lose interest in you because they are constantly distracted by other things. They are constantly looking for someone else to give them that rush of excitement which they experienced at the beginning. Because you can no longer affect them in that way. When they first met you, it was very exciting for them and they were interested in you. At that time, you were very significant and important to the narcissist. Because you were a new source of supply. But as time goes by, you no longer arouse their interest or enthusiasm. You may notice that the narcissist always treats other people far better than they treat you. They treat the people closest to them the worst. It's easy for the narcissist to mistreat them and put them down because they are disposable. They don't interest the narcissist anymore. It's got boring or tiresome for the narcissist as a result of repetition or over familiarity. It no longer has the same effect as it used to. It's like an old vacuum cleaner that doesn't even work anymore. All it does is take up space. And that is why it's so easy for them to replace you. Once they have become used to having you around, you are no longer sig significant or important to them. They can get rid of you without any consideration for you. It doesn't matter if you're in a relationship with them. They can replace you just like they might replace anyone else. They have to operate in this way because they know that everyone they deal with has an expiry date. They know that at some point you're going to figure them out or they're going to get bored of you. They know that it's only a matter of time. They know that this is unavoidable. So they don't invest too much of their effort or emotions because you don't have any special meaning to them and you're not going to be around for long. 
They are expecting this to happen. And without your knowledge or awareness, they are looking for your replacement. Because they have this compulsive desire for excitement and adventure. They get bored very quickly and constantly need something new. They need attention and admiration from other people. They need to experience sex with other people. And there's really no way around this once they've learned you and gotten used to having you around. The longer you remain around a narcissist, the more your significance and value begins to deteriorate. So when they meet someone new, there is no way for you to compete with them. Because nothing can compare with that rush of adrenaline they get from meeting someone new. And even this new person will one day get old and lose their significance and value. Just as many other sources did before them. Which is why the narcissist is constantly seeking new sources of supply. And any relationship partner who is currently with the narcissist will be discarded to make room for the new source who has a stronger effect on them. You never meant anything significant to the narcissist. Nothing you had, did or shared together was anything significant. It meant nothing. But a lot of people don't understand this. They look back at all the time, energy, emotions and money that they invested into the narcissist. Everything that they put up with. Everything that they had to go through. And they think that it must have meant something. But it didn't mean anything. You were just a temporary form of support. While they were waiting for the next person to make them feel alive. But none of these people really mattered to them. What matters most is that feeling they get from being around them. It makes them feel like they exist. But they cannot feel that way without constantly being involved with new people. Some narcissists may change sources quicker than others. It also depends on the source. If the source is willing to support the narcissist and put up with a lot of the things that they do, then the relationship could last a very long time. But the only reason it lasts that long is because the source is tolerating it and enabling the situation to, to continue. The source is providing the narcissist with supply. And that is the only reason why the narcissist is still with them. But that doesn't mean they are loyal. They will have other sources of supply. They cannot survive without having multiple sources because they have a compulsive desire for excitement and adventure. And the longer they spend around one source, the less satisfying it becomes. They are addicted to people and the energy that they get from them. They are addicted to attention. There's just no way that you could ever mean anything significant to the narcissist. 
You could never be the only one. But you believed in the illusion that they displayed to you. You believed that it was real. When the entire time that you were with them, you were sharing them with other people. It was never an exclusive relationship. But when you realize and accept this to be true, it makes it easier for you to leave the situation, knowing that it was never a real relationship because they were never exclusive to you. But as long as you allow them to mislead you, they will stick around. They're not going to leave if they have someone they can fool. They will keep that fool around for as long as they can. But you never had or shared anything with a narcissist. No matter how long you were with them, no matter how long you chose to stick around, it was wasted on someone who is not worthy of your time and attention. Because you wanted it to be something significant or meaningful. But it wasn't because you're no longer with them. Stop replaying those memories in your head and applying significance or meaning to something that didn't mean anything. If they really loved you, if you were really something significant to them, then they would have had consideration for you. If they didn't have any concern for you, then they didn't have your best interest in mind. There would have been a deeper meaning to it, rather than just things that are shallow or superficial, things that only exist on the surface. If you were dealing with someone who was considerate, they wouldn't have blown everything out of the water. They wouldn't have overreacted or treated the situation too seriously. They would have identified the problem and tried to fix it. But they wouldn't have put you at risk of danger or harm. Narcissists are not mature or considerate. They will blow things out of the water and do things that greatly impact your life. And then they will just come back as though nothing happened. If you meant anything to them, if they really valued and appreciated you, they wouldn't have let it go that far. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforvercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.